If you guys have ever wondered what it's like to sit down, pull back the curtain, pour a cocktail, whatever you got to do, and watch film with two former NFL offensive linemen, you have stumbled into the right place. This is the O-line committee where a fan gets to watch film with Alex Boone and Jeremiah Searles. I'm Phil Mackey. Are you guys ready to figure out what the hell is wrong with the Bears offense today? First of all, know. hold on. Are you are you standing at your desk? Yeah. Me? Who? No, yeah, you. Are you always standing? Are you always a big stander? Look at you. You're very perceptive. I switched it to a stand-up desk this week for the I first time. It on our it might have been last week, oh, actually. Look at you. I just said uh, the, the angle was different. We got steps. we got the wide angle in here. You're just going full Dwight from the office on us here. Right? That's right. I feel. I just feel like such a because I sit like I record like five hours of podcasts every day. So I just feel like such a slob sitting on my ass all day. <laughs> so I figure I can at least like you know. <laughs> Get a couple extra steps. I like it. I love it. Hey. Very active. I dig it. Get up to 10,000. You know. I thought I noticed it on Purple Daily when we were doing our show. I was like, is Maggie tall? What is going <laughs> yeah, on? Like, what that was, I was, like, going I was like, something's different here. I like it, man. I appreciate it. I love yeah. it. So we're making the uh, the calf muscles a little stronger here. There we go. Up downs. Boy. So if you guys want, let's just, so the, the Bears, and this can be for Bears fans who are, are stumbling into this too. This is a fix-it session here. I don't know if you guys can do it, but the goal oh, is what is going wrong here? Why were they unable to communicate on the offensive line? I just grabbed a bunch of plays that I thought you guys might find uh, interesting, Amusing. maybe fixable. Yeah, for Amusing. sure. Amusing. And so look at it. Let's do it. We'll go uh, full screen here. First of all, this I is... hate the camera view from Chicago. Yeah, I no, agree. It's but... so bad. Do they do? Do they still do the side camera? Remember when they yes, used to be under yes, the stands? Yes, like it's under the stands. And you have it's to look terrible. at. Yeah, it's awful. Anyways, um, I so this is the first play of the game offensively for the Bears. All right, a little the empty. First play of the game. So now listen. Pause right now, Jay. Yo, you have Daniel to the right. Yep. You have Davenport. Davenport. Then you have Hicks. Then you have Phillips. And yep. then you have ninety. And then you have DJ Wanham. What's your call right now? You're 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 gone. You already know you're gone, pro. It looks like empty. It looks like strength, passing strength to my left. I'm sliding it's, to the right. It's four receivers left, one receiver right. I'm, by I'm, the way. I'm, I'm, I'm cutting. I'm cutting Wanham free here, and I'm I'm sliding to the right and saying Wanham's hot. Good. Now, if if Hicks wasn't up here, what would you call this? Five zero. Thank you. Okay. So we're see Mackie. We speak the same language. What's almost like <laughs> the good. same brain language? It's crazy. So <laughs> now you, we know right now that we're gonna go R. Now we know, and so does number one. We're going R. Tell me why he doesn't look to the left. Oh, boy. Yep. Tell me why he doesn't throw the out route either that becomes wide-ass open. I don't understand what's going on in Chicago. He has, but, this is so dumb by Fields. and like I well, hate watch. saying that, but this is just dumb because you have to just, again, I said it with Collier on our podcast. Pause. Fields can't count. I don't think he can count. I mean, you have to be able to count from one to six. And then you go, okay, I have five blue jerseys in front of me. There's six white ones. In no world, in no way, shape, or form can those five block six. Mm. Like It's just a physically impossible thing. And he just doesn't even recognize, like, he, as soon as Hicks comes, he should know there's six people coming. And so the hot here is the hot DJ Moore. Yes. The he's hot's either DJ right Moore now. or Cole Kement over here That's on the not, left side. He's not open, though. But see how but he's open Go back right to right here? away. Go back right away. Go back to early. It's going to be maybe hard to see. But, like, right when Wanham pushes here, like, right now, we always say throw into the blitz. But, like, right here, when the ball is snapped, you're hitting Komet right now. And Komet doesn't see it. So should did Komet screw up? Well, he's not even looking Both, at Komet, I, I mean, I, it's hard to say. Both receivers, I, it doesn't look like anyone's running a hot route. I think DJ Moore is the hot route. Because, look, he's looking to the right. And even so, like, you have a free rusher. Throw it. Go back. Go back half a step. Because as soon as he starts to turn, you're throwing that ball. Right there. Ball gone. But it, this goes back This goes back to what we've talked about with the problem with Justice Fields is he doesn't have very good anticipation. This ball actually needs to be out right now before yep. he's out of his break. Right. right. So as his, as his head's turning around, the ball should be hitting him like a spear. Right. But because he doesn't have great anticipation and he doesn't think about throwing guys open, he just throws it once they are actually open. Go back. Dude, dude, go back real quick. The best part about this is every offensive lineman literally looks at him like, what the fuck are you doing? This And, <laughs> Searles, I said the exact same thing. I said the exact same words that you did on Purple Daily on Monday. I don't know why Justin Fields doesn't throw this ball. He sees six and knows he only has five. You're an idiot. 
You need to throw the ball. But at the same time, this is why Caleb Williams will be wearing that same jersey next year. <laughs> the exact same damn reason. And this is, look at them. They're all looking at him like, are you for real? You got sacked? You didn't know we were going to the right with an R call? Dude, playing Xbox. Uh, My bad, guys. Right. Playing Xbox. No, I mean, no, it's just, let's keep going. The Madden is... controller broke. <laughs> <laughs> jam, jam front. Love this front. But you know what I don't love? Go back. Oh, my God. <laughs> I love how DJ Wanham gives him a little, like, here I am. Did you see it when he came around the corner? Like, this was DJ Wanham's career game, by the way. Six okay. pressures. I think he had so a couple look of up. sacks in this game. We're in a jam. 5-0. 5-0, baby. We're all the way. Everybody knows that they're on an island. Everybody needs to get off the ball because when I say 5-0, Jeremiah, what are you thinking? Twist, twist, twist. Something's coming because they know that we're all alone. Nobody's getting any help anywhere. So let's see how well they want to dance like the big bears. Left guard, you are way too firm. You are way too firm, homie. My dude, you are lunging out of your stance when you need to be sitting back because, look, DJ Wanham's already – he's already like, dude, I'm in here. And watch him come around because the left tackle's telling the guard, go. He's got his hand on his hip. And now watch DJ – Let's go slow-mo here because, yeah, the, the, well, the tackle before, before is literally we get into all this, the guard out. A huge problem in this game was Cody Whitehair's snaps, right? If you watch, like, he, this happened a ton throughout this game where Justin Fields standing there and then he's got to go all the way down there to pick that up, which means he's got to take his eyes off the defense. So first read's already dead. Right? The first read's already dead because he's staring at the grass. Interesting. Oh, boy. Yeah, and the left guard doesn't get there. There's Now, we've always talked about this. Pause. But let it roll a little bit. When he does this, I think a lot of the reasons that the snap is a problem is because we have a shade, a nose right there. Like, we're, we're, we're just blocking. That's a lot for us right now. Not a lot of people run this front. But at the same time, when you're running this right here, and even though this twist gets home, Justin could still leak out to the left. Like, as you're watching this, mm. as he's picking this ball up, he sees this pressure start to come in. And this is one of the hardest things for a quarterback is when it comes directly at you, you kind of panic. But see how right here he can start to leak out to the left? This is another one of his anticipation things. Like you have to start to get away from trouble. You see somebody coming around all by themselves, and you still don't panic until right now. Like at some point you have to make a decision and get out of there. Or maybe throw it be, to number 85. Do who's standing, something. Who's standing just, on the hash with no defender around him. Right, but that's what I mean by first read's dead because right now he's starting to panic already. But he just needs to stick it on oh, eighty-five. Man, 85 just throw right it to there. eighty-five. Yeah, just right throw there. it to him. Right, you have plenty of time. An NFL quarterback knows he might have to stand in there and take a lick, but ninety-eight is not in the throwing lane. Dish it to him. He should just throw it to eighty-five right there, who just turns and runs up the hash for twenty yards. I mean, Justin Fields probably left two hundred yards passing out on this on this game. I'm dead serious. Like you look at it from the wide copy too. There's dudes running free all over the back end, and they just. I mean, Brian Flores was like, yeah, he's he can't see it, so we'll just keep blitzing him. This is great. I love it. Well, this one here. Here we go again, baby. We got a nice little jam front. We got some pressure coming off the edge. By the way, I'm going to pitch it to the guy who is still covered. (laughs) This is the dumbest. So what is? I don't know what he's doing. What is this? This is a. It's like an option. Yeah. This is here's the problem. This is this is a counter read. This is a counter read with like instead of it's a quarterback counter read. So right here, they're trying to run speed option into this. But the quarterback has the option of he sees two outside. So right here, pause it right at the start. The option is dead. Done. You cannot run option with two men on the end line of scrimmage. It's impossible. You cannot run option with two men out there unless you tell the tackle, hey, if you get a two look, which is what we used to call it a two look, you got to full zone this thing. But guess what? They're pulling. They're going They're the other way. pulling. <laughs> so in all actuality, so- you have three men on the line of scrimmage, you cannot run option into three people. But if Justin Fields pulls this, it's a touchdown. It's a touchdown. So he pulls this and, d- and does what? It runs behind the pulling. Right? See, see how so the if he, if he, tackle? He, no, no. So cool. if he just runs up the seam right yeah, now. Yeah, so he needs that. to see the options dead, right? So he yep. needs to know pre-snap read. Pre-snap read, the option's dead. I'm going to go to the quarterback counter, right? So, like, let's, let's stop watching the option. The option's dead. What Justin Fields should do is catch the ball and follow the two pullers. Let this run out a little bit, Mackie, and pause it right as those two pullers are running over there. Pause it right there. Right now. Oh, my so God. So yeah. the guard is going to kick out number 99. Yeah. 85 is going to pin Hicks, 58 right there. And you have a pulling tackle on the corner. And you have a quarterback that runs 4-4 and is going to go score a touchdown. And Harrison Smith is running this way. Yeah. 
Like, and if Harrison sees this, he's probably going to be up there. It's going to be one-on-one with the safety at 20 yards away. But again, this is all because Justin Fields has zero pre-snap read ability. He just he doesn't see this. This is You can't expect the coach to be able to be in your ear because this is after the 15-second clock is over yeah. and be like, hey, 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 see that out there? We can't do that. Run the other way. He just doesn't have any awareness of what's going on around him on the defensive side. Because and I, and I don't, I'm not like entrenched in you know Bears what Bears fans and media are saying on a daily basis. But there is a lot of criticism of Eberflus and the coaching staff when when a quarterback has such a hard time. Just in the three plays we've shown so far, where it's Go kind of quick, basic Mikey. stuff, right? Like how much of that is it's, just listen? There's only so much a coach can do versus pause. okay, he's not being communicated with well well enough. I'm gonna answer that. This is an exact answer right here this would be a play right here that we would come up and go hey if there's only one guy out there say dj Wanham's all by himself you could possibly run the speed option because you're putting him in a bind right like you have options the minute and i'm promising you this was said the minute we have pressure from the outside you must follow those two out why because you're gonna run into a blitz you're physically taking you and the running back into blitzers run away from it Expect these guys to collapse everything exactly like they did. Dude, that's a it's just a bad play. You're not a good quarterback when you do that. And you, you can blame you can try and blame positions. the Bears. You can try and blame the Bears coaches for that. You can try you and blame anyone, but like that's a bad read by the quarterback because that's the coach saying we have answers to this problem. You just refuse to answer the question. Yeah, that's super interesting. All right, let's keep let's keep watching. Here. here we go. Here's pause. another one. Go back. No, 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 pause. Go back. <laughs> Searles, okay. you're gonna love this one. You're first gonna all, love this. First one. of all, snap slow again. Something to keep an eye on. Should we, okay. we let's run? Let's run the play first. Hold on. Let's run. <gasps> okay. yeah, can we just run back. the whole thing? Yeah. <laughs> oh, five hundred no. mystery basket. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay. okay. Right, mystery package. Yeah, that's bad. Listen, that's bad. I'm gonna I'm gonna explain this before anything. This is a lot of what Brian brings to the table. We've talked mm. about it before. This is a generic front. This is an interesting front. It kind of looks like the 85 Bears, right? Like we're covering every gap because we have a running quarterback, but at the same time, we're gonna put a lot of pressure on them. In a passing situation, Jeremiah, you're gonna back me up on this. On a <laughs> passing situation, hear me now, young tackles. I don't want you to go out to the safety slash linebacker. I want you to block the guy making $20 million. Why? Because you make about as much money. You are stuck on that end until the live long day. I know I've heard someone say that. And it's pretty obvious here when you see the center point, hey, we're going left. Right. Go back to the right beginning, Mackie, right before he snaps it. Watch number 65. Like number 65 and 76 are like, hey, left. Larry, load it, lock, L, something. Lucky. Hey, Welcome. 58, 58, I you're on the right to lick set. A lemon lollipop and you're on the hammer. right side. We got to paint one shoe red, one shoe yellow, so you know your rights from your lefts. Like, you can't just pass this guy. There's no reason. This is simple saw. All this is is saw. Sam and Will off the run, edges. They run it well because that's DJ Wanham over there. And he's technically a down. And we don't really want to block have a running back block a down. So we would rather have the running back go block the someone who Which is what they're size. supposed to be doing. Which is exactly. what they're doing. Yeah. So this is a safety here, Josh Metellus on the edge. And- yeah. So they're going, hey, three bigs out there. We have the tight end here. We'll slide to the three bigs. We'll have the two bigs on the right side. And then we'll put Daniil Hunter on number 21. That's genius. Right. And then and Daniil Hunter him mauls him. Yeah. It's, it's so bad. Is this where he hurt his thumb? Uh, I no, think I he think heard he got hit. a different play. He got he got tackled. Dude, twenty one is in pure panic mode right here. You, right, dude, you can see him go back. <laughs> we watch this on Purple Day. Watch, he starts looking at forty four, and then at the last second, he's like, "Oh shit, who's this guy, dude?" It's yeah. hilarious. You <laughs> it's, can it's see him Daniel panic, Hunter. like, "No, oh, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait <laughs> oh, a minute, oh god." I don't need to block hey. this guy. I will say, I'll give him some credit for not just trying to like take the easy way out and just cut him. Because yeah, that he, never works, right? Like They just do bug on the windshield when they try and cut these dudes in the hole. Right? I would but, almost go as far as to say 21 could come in the O-line room after this. Like, dude, you stood yeah. in there. You didn't you have did, to. You, nice you did your best. Does he, get I, a sta- he gets a standing O when he walks in the next yeah. time. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> 58. Meanwhile, 58 sitting out there like, oh, I'm beating the shit out of this safety. <laughs> I'm killing this guy. Look, I'm killing him. Oh, no. Job. That's Darnell Wright, 11th overall pick, first round. 
All right, so now Justin Fields is hurt, and now the Bears are bringing in here a uh, an undrafted rookie free agent Shepherd. to play Division Two Shepherd. football. Shepard. I watched this dude all over the circuit. He was at all the All Star games, and I was like, he's really skinny and tiny. That's, That's another bad snap there. Bad too. snap. I'm that. telling you, it was the theme throughout the day. And Boone, you can back me up on this. When your quarterback's getting bad snaps, their internal oh. clock, their internal clock gets rattled, so rattled. Go back. Oh, this is funny. freaking horrible Harry gets one. Hey, oh my here's gosh. what's even crazier. Without this play, the Bears win. <laughs> I know. That's you the think thing. I'm kidding? It's no, 12 it's to 13 at the Which end of the is game. That's like Bears history, though. If, if there's yeah. always one play like this in every Bears game, that if you just don't do that, you're probably going to win 17 to 13. You want to know Calm what's down. even better? This is the exact same blitz. I know. <laughs> this is... This is, this is <laughs> Go back. Go back. So watch uh, this one. Go back to the last one, right? Watch this one, right? The first, the one where um, this one here. Just, yeah. Yeah. So, so this is the exact same blitz, right? Three D lineman to a side, two D lineman to the other side. You have, um, and then the safety Mattel's coming off. This time the tackle blows it, right? The tackle's like, oh shoot! All right, I need to block the end, right? You come off to the sideline and you go, hey dumbass, you got to block the end, right? And they're like, oh yeah, 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 okay, yeah, got it. And now they're like, hey, all right, let's see if they got it fixed, right? And Brian Flores like, let's see if they got it fixed, and so like. Okay, you two are locked on the end over here, and we have three bigs on that side. And then slides, the guard is the one that's like, nah, we're good. But I think the center actually screws this up. No, I don't. Because look, the I think center's he's... pointing left. Go back from the beginning. And the right guard is the right guard is sliding left. Oh, sorry, there we go. Right, so right here, the, the center's going, hey, L. A little quarter speed. And so watch the left guard, or the right guard. The right guard slides L, and the center's like, ah. Uh, I lied. I want to go to the right. <laughs> I lied. I was just kidding. I don't want to go to the right. I was just trying to see if you knew. Yeah. Watch. See, he's going, yeah, dummy, slide left. And then right at the last second, he's like, mm, not me. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to slide right. What happens here? The center. What? It's the center. I promise you it's the center. Boone, do you agree or no? I think this is play action. Two tight ends in backside. Yeah, so you have the two tight ends, the block 99. I think the, I think, I think the guard screws up and the tackle. I think that... The running back's supposed to be out there. Well, the running back thinks he's got Metellus, right? That's what the I'm running saying. back thinks he's I got. I think that they're supposed to go back. There's supposed to be money on the front side, and then you're basically saying, hey, we're going to leave 44 for the running back. So we're going to A this to 58, which is why the, set, the right guard comes down. The tackle's big on 90, and we're obviously not going to leave one tight end on Daniil. We would put two out there. So that's why this, technically, the whole left side screws this up. Because, look, see how it's a little play see, action but right for there? me, that, that has to go to the center because the center is speaking to them before the ball is snapped. They are at home. The center, in my opinion, either said fan in his head and didn't mean to say fan, <laughs> or he just <laughs> completely screwed it up. Yeah, but you know, too, that the, the center could have been telling him no. When they were like, hey, do you want to go out there? He could have been like, no, leave him. Like, I've seen that happen, too, where guys are like, no, don't go out there. You're here. <laughs> and they're or, like, nah, I'm going out there. <laughs> I mean, dude, it's... It, it's I just think, the theme for the day for them. They're just I mean, in a, they're a mess. Dude. And also, you might wonder. I mean, a lot of people probably watch this and think, "What the hell is the running back doing? Why is he not picking up?" Because he's not thinking well, about ninety seven. No, right? Right, you would a running back would never assume I'm blocking the D tackle. Like yeah, every now and then, like a D end, okay, but never a D tackle. Never ever. That's an always always rule. Yeah, uh, this is that's why. I, uh, he's unblocked. all I know is the communication up there. Whoever's running the show is not doing a good job because. This poor quarterback is just getting front paged. And this play right here single handedly beat them. It's exactly what it is. Look at all those half speed linemen running down there. And then this is the last play offensively of the game here. Another it's bad the same snap, damn it's play. The same blitz. It's the same blitz. And they can't figure it out. Hey, just what do we tell you? It's the theme of the day. If you can't stop it, it's going to continue. That is yep. the exact same blitz as before. And I promise so you, you watch the Bears play next week, they're going to get this run exact same yep. blitz and see if they figured out how to stop it. So, so, I have, so, so 75 slides run. left here? Or no? No, they just no, see, see this oh, time they, they got to figure it right. out. They, they got to figure it out. They got it right. No, but no, no, no. Go back. Go back. The left tackle screws up here because he's on his toes. And watch, he's going to get the quarterback hit. Like, dude, you're you're a big boy. Just also, throw your hands. Also, pre-snap at- read. If someone's blitzing off sides, outside, they're gonna go inside. But yeah, what is that? Just wait, right there. So, yeah, I, yeah. It's just sorry, bro. Man, he couldn't step into the throw. This who blitz is will get hit against the Bears next week for sure. I gotta find yeah. out who they're playing. Mm. 
And it, I wouldn't be surprised if they started moving pieces in it too. Like they start moving linebackers. <laughs> also, up tell me why does he why does he catch that like a punt? Uh, Go got back. it. Because like, you're, you're, he's probably shocked. Like, why would that ball be coming in dude, that literally, slow and short? Literally, he's like fair catching this. Like, dude, pick it off and run the other way. And he's just like, no, no, punt. <laughs> did he wave, did he wave his arm for a fair catch? Too? I got it. There's a couple couple barn burner teams here. Oh in the my, NFL. Dude, this game was horrible. So I mean, bad. the Vikings needed the Vikings also like they needed this play to happen, or the bear the Bears are marching on this drive despite all of the plays we just showed. So I don't know why you call this like I don't know why you call this play either. Don't let that young guy just give him. Are the Bears on a bye. Now. They are. Mm. They're so lucky. Yeah, no, well, they're there's not. your they're there's, the Raiders. there's your <laughs> terrible Bears Vikings game. If you want to watch atrocities of football teams, <laughs> you just go ahead and pull that game up. So, well, hopefully that was uh, for Bears fans. Hopefully that helps answer some questions as to WTF. The hell is happening yeah. to your offense. So, Number if you one's enjoyed, problem. yeah. I mean, that's from you guys, man. Like, that's, I can say it as a How fan, but you guys though? just broke it down. This like, is the worst part about it. And I'll tell you the truth when you're in that room and you're like, everyone's like, we don't know what the problem is. And you're like, well, I do. <laughs> I'll tell you what it is. It's some bitch behind me. He don't know what's going on. Like seriously, it drives yeah. you nuts because as an offensive lineman, you have to know so much, and you get up to the line and you're like, okay, a speed option this way, or we're going counter this way. Well, I see seven dudes on the line, so I'm almost positive we're going this way. And then it's like a minus five yard play, and you're like, what the hell were you doing? Yeah. I didn't see him, guys. I didn't see him coming <laughs> off the. We're watching the same damn game, dude. What is going on? If you guys enjoyed this film breakdown, please click the like button and the subscribe button on the O-Line Committee YouTube channel here. And let us know in the comment section what other things do you want these guys to break down from a film standpoint.